Why is it all the way in yet? Come on. Yeah, Discord has literally told me nothing today, that it hasn't flashed up or anything. Oh man, you actually have the Dark Coin. You've done more Dark Challenges than I have, clearly. Uh, sure, I'll go first. Well, this is an interesting start. Discarding this is kind of painful. But it's not an awful start. I don't think I did. I haven't had Discord open all day, so... Like, it is... I mean, it's open on my taskbar and stuff, but I haven't actually... Really, I was gonna... Do stuff for that, okay. Um... Yeah, discarding this is a little bit rough, but I kind of need stuff out here. So, all of my Delphox are in the deck, that's good. Nine... All of my energy are in the deck, which is nice. How many red candy? Three. One of my Battle Compressor is prized. Okay, that's fine though. I mean, if I have, I haven't pressed it on purpose. So, we'll use my one Shaman, get myself up to six cards here. Uh, that Compressor is pretty strong. Uh, all of my VS Seeker in the deck as well, that's pretty good. Um, I want to do it that way, no, I want to put an energy in the discard as well. Because that will get me up to... Because uh, if I discard the Sycamore here, because I want to play end this turn, if I discard the Sycamore, I can get a third Fennekin down. That's my last Fennekin in deck, so one of them is prized. That's okay. We'll go with that, and then we will end. That's pretty strong. That's a pretty strong uh, hand to have here right now. If I keep this, that'll be fine, because I can Skylar Red Candy, I could Ultra Ball to get the other Delphox out, and we can go from there. And that'll be a really strong turn two. Not bad for a first shot, actually. Energy retrieval. <laughs> Interesting you would play that with Trohanita. Hmm. I'm a little bit curious on that. Man, I wish I could have fitted Random Receiver in here. Ha! <laughs> nice reveals there. <laughs> well, it's not an end, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, no end. That's fine. <laughs> but before that, you get end and become sad. Dude, yeah, it would have been pretty bad if I got end there, to be honest. But then again, you never know. I mean, I could have drawn something better off of that, you know? There's the evil tall. Okay, that's a couple of poopy tar going into this guy. Interesting. So the idea with the Tyranitar deck is that you want to end up going behind a little bit in prizes because of Tyranitar's ridiculous attack cost. You probably want to be playing some other attackers first, and then when your prizes start going a little bit low down, you pull out the Tyranitar, you get all of your energy back, and you go from there. Stuff like Darkrai and uh yeah, so the Larvitar here isn't really an ideal starter. Um, this Evil Tower would have been a much better starter. But then again, Ross hasn't discarded any energy, so... 
Ooh, no attachment either. Welp. Welp, I was going to Skylar for that, but uh, apparently I don't have to. You know what? I think I will discard the two fire here. Um, I'm gonna get this Del Fox out. I really want this Del Fox first because this will set me up much better. I don't want to put the one with the fire and the muscle band on though because I want this to be the Del Fox I put on for that. Um, the question is where to put the DCE. Well, I could still Skylar. So, I can attach that, I can Skylar for the Rare Candy still, and this is kind of unrepresentative I guess, but uh, we can double Rare Candy and then still Mystical Fire for 6 cards. There's a slight catch if I don't play switching cards in this deck, that's maybe something I should fix. Uh, we're going to have to take a lot more. That's something I might need to do, uh, do a thing about. But... Yeah, for now I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I haven't managed to get that many energy on the board yet, but I have VS Seeker Blacksmiths to come for that. Ah, oh, right, okay. I don't mind if you want to, uh, if you want to, to name one after me. I'm totally fine with that. Yeah, I might need to play, like, an escape rope or something in this deck. But then I wouldn't have wanted to attack this turn anyway, because I'm only doing 60. Well, 80, because of the muscle band. It's not particularly good. So, Steven, you take another supporter from your deck and a basic energy. It's a little bit better than Skylaring for a supporter, but it's still a little bit slow. Starting to see the problem with N. What's that? Well, you know what? I'll. Ooh, so AZ is the supporter of a choice. Interesting. Every time you talk about what to do in the next turn, I'm here like, only if there's no end. Yep. That's... Yep. That's just one problem with it. Yeah, I might end up... I mean, I'll definitely look at the Discord stuff after stream. Um... I may not really say too much on it until then, unless you really need me to. So there's the third Pupitar. So this thing... Oh god, that attack is awful. At least it only takes one energy, but god, that attack is bad. Maybe if Tyranitar was a fighting type, then it could actually do some work here. But yeah, without the switching card, there's not really much that's going to happen there. Wow. <clears throat> okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Let's get my one Delphos breakout as well. Uh, we're going to VSC for Blacksmith here. And we're probably going to do that for like two turns now. Let's be honest. Um, can I just do it this way? I can just do it this way. So that'll just take two fire out. Um, I don't think I need Lugia in this game, so we'll discard uh, we'll discard Lugia, and I'm gonna get Brazen out here. Uh, looks like one and en one energy retreat cost is pretty fine, so we'll do that. We'll bench the Flareon so I can Mystical Fire for five. Actually, before I do that, I need to Flare Witch. Uh, so we'll Flare Witch. We'll take a fire out. We'll attach that to the brazen so I can retreat. Um, then we'll mystical fire for five. I'm not going to be drawing too much of the rest of my deck at this point. Dude, okay. Um, let's muscle band the Flareon. And 
do that. Retreat to the 180 HP that works here, and I'll be hitting for 107. I'll be hitting for 180 this turn. That's pretty good, turn 3. No, 160, okay, because I discarded the energy. That is pretty damn good for a turn 3. Fuck. <laughs> that, that is a really good, really good turn 3. Holy shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do bear in mind this is the th this is now turn six, which is uh, let, let's go. Is that yeah? This is turn six, which is Ross's turn three, and we've hit all of this. This is pretty unrepresentative, but it's probably best case scenario for me here. It can be really fast. Zygarde is with Superior. Okay, that's pretty cool. It can be fast. It's... I think I got a little bit luckier than uh, than average with the with the start here. I mean, I did start Triple Fennekin, and I topped that drag candy instead of having to Skylar for it. So... I drew really damn well at the start of this game. But, like I said, as soon as you get one of this Delphox Fox out, you can start doing some really nifty stuff. Like, come on, my turn 2 was a double rare candy plus uh, a mystical fire for 6. That's really good. <laughs> you know? Ah, uh, flipping tails on Birch is annoying. This is where N is uh, just a better card than Birch. To be totally honest, uh, every deck that I play Birch is in, I'm going to be replacing them with N in equal numbers because Birch is just not good compared to N. Sure, Birch can sometimes draw you more cards because, you know, especially later in the game, it draws you more cards, but really, you want to play N in the early game so you can get more stuff with that and sort of run from there. The fun thing about this Delphox, the Psystorm one, is the the more energy the opponent puts on the board, the stronger it gets. So it kind of dissuades big energy attachments from the opponent as well. Also, hey, Smoked, how are you doing? It's actually surprisingly like synergistic and stuff here. And there's no energy in the discard either, so... Um... I have three energy in my discard bag right here, so obviously we're VS Seeker Blacksmith, so we're gonna get a couple more in play. Um, let's put them on the Flareon. Um, I mean, I'm doing alright at the moment, but I've kind of got a bit of a misrepresentative thing here. Uh, so I don't need to draw too many more cards. Let's Mystical Fire for three. I would like to get a second Delphox just as a sort of offshoot here, but I don't really need it. Um, I'm gonna... Scorched Earth once. And okay, we really didn't get stuff. See, now what I could do is I can I can via Seeker N later in the game, and I can just get my stuff back that way. Uh, Sure, we'll Flare Witch as well. I've got one energy left to Flare Witch with, and that can go down there. And Psy Storm now does like 5 million damage. Boom! 260! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> That's 220 without Ross doing anything. That's crazy! Oh god! But if I start running low on cards in my deck, I can just VS Seeker N. Or I'm probably just going to VS Seeker Blacksmith, let's be honest here. But, uh. Yeah! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> so let's see how Ross built stuff here. I'm going to open it in the deck manager because that lets me do the expanded view here. Uh, though I can't see. Uh, the energy count is all darkness, so 15 dark. Basic, yeah, basically I've got... Uh, Delphox is, seems to be like a win-more deck. 
it needs to get itself going, which is the slow part, but it very much is a win more deck. Um, once it's got, once it gets going, it's really solid.